right guys, how's it going? Um, we've got a couple of books. Well, we've got quite a few books actually. Uh, first is what I've been reading this morning. The New Detective Comics 945. So, yeah. And the new Cinema Purgatorio, issue 7. Kevin O'Neill just killing it. Awesome. Uh, a friend of mine just lent me the new Green Lantern. Is it Green Lanterns? Green Lanterns. I don't know anything about it. But I've got the first eight. Eight. This is what to show issue eight. That's an awesome Halloween cover. So yeah, I'm going to be getting stuck into these. Uh, the next thing, which I forgot about, I found them in a box in the loft, in the cupboard upstairs, is the Lone Wolf and Cub. Uh, Dark Horse. Uh, I don't think you'd call them mangas. I don't really know what these are. But, um, yeah, there's like 28 of these or something. I've got the, f what, seven or something here. I've got issue 1 to 7 and then 14 and 15, bizarrely. But the covers are all this. That's a Frank Miller cover. And there's like Matt Wagner ones and stuff. Um, but yeah, there's 7. I need to go ahead and pick up the rest of these. I, I don't want to read these because I'm going to start going crazy to pick up the rest. Maybe it's a good thing. And yeah, this is... The Frantic Winter Special, it is, it's not a number or anything, yeah, just the Frantic Winter Special, I think it's 1979, in fact I'm positive it's 1979, yeah, it's, so it's got like some, it's like a, a Marvel, I think it's like a Marvel UK magazine, Um, it's got a Silver Surfer story in here, it's got, uh, what else is in here? I bought it for a specific reason. Um, there's a Silver Surfer in here, definitely. There's a Howard the Duck, so a Steve Gerber story. Um, but the reason I bought it was for... If I can find it now. There's a story in here by Kurt Vile, who is Alan Moore, before he was... Alan Moore? He was obviously Alan Moore at this point, but he was writing under the name of Kurt Vile. And this is his little story he did there, um, wrote Andrew. So we're going to go cut to that just now and we'll have a look at the pages proper. Well, you're just going to be sat on there. So we'll look at them on there. All right, guys. So here we go. This is the, um, the winter special here. I'm going to try and keep this as steady as possible. Uh, so we'll have to turn it this way. So yeah, um, look at Finn. He's waiting very patiently for something to happen. We're gonna look at this book, Finn. No, no, okay. So anyway, yeah. So this one, I was trying to have a look online because this one's all a bit like set out weirdly. Like there's a big margin here and then a small one and then a big one again. If you can see it like right the way through, which it goes all the way until the Alan Moore story where it cuts the bloody side of it off. So anyway. I'll just give you a quick look through the pages. There's not actually any text, like speech bubbles. I think that's my favorite panel of the whole thing. Although that Silver Surfer, I don't know if you can see it there, but his uh, surfboard says Beach Boys rule, okay. Yeah, so that's it. Cool little Alan Moore story from uh, very early in his career. So, there you go, guys. Let's see if Finn will do a trick. Finn, uh, 
Roll over. Roll over. Okay, um, roll over. Roll over. Yeah, nice one. Well done. Good boy. Good boy. Okay, so I've just, I've taken out all the cinema purgatorio books again. I'll just quickly show you these covers. Each, each book, so like book one, has a cover for each story that's in there, if you see what I mean. So they've all got, oh, you can't see the back. They've all got five covers like this. So there's all the five covers for each, one for each story. So I tried to get the Kevin O'Neill ones, I can't always. So two, three, that's a great cover. That's a story called The Vast. Code Prue. And then back to Kevin O'Neill, so I'm missing three Kevin O'Neill ones. Anyway, that's not the point. I've just read seven. Um, issue six. I've just read seven. Now, the story The Vast in here, which is generally the last story. I'll just show you the very last page because that'll be enough. So, issue seven. And then issue six last month, obviously. They've printed the same... Oh, no, I'm not doing this very well. They've printed the same story for the vast in both of these. So, obviously that's an error. But I think it's a lot worse than it may seem. Obviously they can just print the next story next month. But it's going to be a month behind everything else from now on. So I'm away to go and find out, see if I can find out what they're planning to do about that, or if they make issue 8 a bigger issue to put two stories in there. Because I don't know what the deal is with this, if there's an end game in it or what. But we are, essentially, we're a story behind uh, on the vast storyline, because we've just had it printed twice. And I don't know if this will get recalled, so maybe that's something to look out for as well. If this gets recalled, maybe go ahead and pick one up but I don't think it's going to be that much of a big deal but anyway they're really cool books really nice little square bound but yeah I'm a bit I'm a bit annoyed about that right so I didn't want to sh show all of my things all of this stuff just because I'm going to be using it all over the month of December but I did want to show this but this like record box thing I s every now and then you find a record that doesn't have a sleeve and uh, you still want it so I've got one of these so I can put them somewhere but this was the one that I wanted to show oh my word you might not be able to see it but it's uh, this is A Christmas Gift to You by Phil Spector uh, so this is going to be getting played, this gets played every year, countless times, too many times. So I need recommendations, I thought this was as good a time as any to do it. Music, comics, books, films I guess too. What do you guys like watching over the Christmas uh, season and uh, let me know and I'll check out some of the stuff I've never heard of. I want to find some stuff I've never heard of. Um, I've got a couple of books lined up, uh, obviously Christmas Carol. And then this that I saw, just in a charity shop, this is the Puffin Book of Christmas Stories. I don't know if this is going to be good, or I don't even know what this is going to be. Christmas Stories, I assume. And lastly, I was chuffed when I found this one. This is the Santa Claus Murder. So that kind of stuff I'm looking for. I've got more records and things, but I want to play them. I want to potentially use some of these, um, as long as I don't get in trouble again and get ads slapped on my videos so yeah recommendations on christmas themed stuff please and uh yeah hopefully some of the stuff i show you guys won't know about and it'll help you in the festive season i guess anyway that's kind of everything for this week so um if you've got the recommendations leave them in the comment uh, comment section please that would be much appreciated um, books especially, I really find uh, that, yeah, books are the most absorbing of, of all media, so books ideally would be the best. Um, 
But like I say, music, um, I've been watching, there's a vinyl community, very similar to the comic book community, um, identical except for vinyl, obviously. And there was a guy I was just watching on there and he uh, had some really cool Christmas vinyl, stuff I'd never even heard of. Um, really nice records, um, a lot nicer condition than mine, uh, which doesn't mean anything. But yeah, he had a nice setup, so that's kind of where I got the idea for this. So um, check out the vinyl community as well, I guess. I can't name anybody off the top of my head, that's really bad. Um, but I'm subscribed to a few of them, so if you're into music... Go over there and check out what those guys are buying. Um, but anyway, yeah, sorry. That was a very long-winded way of saying, see you for the next one. Uh, hey, guys, I've just been told that um, Ron Glass has passed away. Uh, I think it's pretty recent, like today. Um, I just found out just now, so it's sad times. Ron played uh, Shepherd Book in Firefly. Um, great character. Still never really... This was his kind of the kind of the telling of what actually happened to his character so if you've just watched the show and the, the movie then you still don't really know much about his character um but yeah unfortunately he passed away today um so this is just i'm just sticking this on the end here rest in peace wrong glass um and yeah he didn't care where he was going because it was how you got there that was the worthier part so see you for the next one guys